when we talk about the Lightning Network, it is a layer two technology that sits on top of Bitcoin, which is, you know, on-chain transactions layer one. And, you know, Bitcoin transactions um, prioritize, um, you know, um, settlement, security, and a lot of other things, decentralization, disintermediation of the, you know, process of money transfer. Um, and in order to be, uh, in order to have sort of uh, confidence in a transaction, you have to wait approximately, uh, you know, at least one block, that's about 10 minutes, for a on-chain Bitcoin transaction, whereas Lightning, Net Lightning Network transactions, which again sit on top of layer one, um, as I said, happen essentially instantaneously. And the way that works from a nuts and bolts perspective, and Nate, please jump in um, anytime I say mm -hmm. anything that uh, you disagree with, is you know if uh, I have a Lightning node running and Q has a Lightning node running and Nate has a Lightning node running, um, we open what are called lightning channels to each other. So you make an on-chain transaction that creates a kind of a collaborative channel that exists between two nodes. And then you can kind of push uh, sats back and forth on these channels. But the real power of the lightning network comes when you start to have this larger network. So if I want to send, if I have a, you know, 100,000 sat, thousand sat channel with, um, with Q and I want to send sats through to Nate, I don't actually even have to have a direct connection to Nate. As long as in this example, this very limited example, Q has a channel to Nate, I can route those sats that I'm trying to send to Nate through Q's node and then over to Nate. And in order to do that, I pay Q a very small fee for being able to, you know, for facilitating that transaction. And so it's that's kind of the overall way that the Lightning Network works, but it becomes really powerful when you imagine it like a giant spider web. There's, you know, tens of thousands of nodes in the Lightning Network and they're all interconnected. So you have this massive web of these Lightning channels and your node basically runs these calculations to figure out what is the most efficient way that I can route through the entire network. And then it makes that transaction and you, the, you know, your payment kind of ping pongs through the entire network and eventually gets where it needs to go. Um, so that's kind of a high level overview of how the Lightning Network works. Yeah, that's awesome. And now we've got um, almost 15,000 nodes with at least one announced channel to the network. You don't have to announce your channels if you don't want to, um, but that's how we get this data. Uh, so it's it's growing a lot. And yeah, and that that's pretty much all the channel is, right? It's the, the in, in your example, Q's node isn't paying me through that channel you have with him. It's paying me through... Uh, his channel he has with me. So it's effectively like you're giving me five bucks, I'm putting it in this hand, and then I'm taking five bucks out of my pocket and giving that away if I was the routing node and then putting that other five in my pocket. Uh, and then it's just that 15,000 times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely.